Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Brendan Lee. In this video, I want to talk to you about consequences. I want to talk to you about consequences. Okay, so in this video, I want to talk to you about re recognizing and realizing that there are consequences to the things you do and there are consequences to the things you think. Now, of course, I can imagine right away that people listening to this video, you're like, well, of course there's consequences and stuff. But I think if you jump too quickly to a conclusion about that, then you may miss what I'm saying and what I'm trying to communicate is empowering. And what it is is a simple realization. What I mean by simple is like it's just like it seems to me like a little, oh, an accessible one. As far as I can tell, quite accessible. Maybe not, maybe not. And, and it comes off of like basically it's realizing. So in order to have this realization, what I want you to do is I want you to take a look in your experience and notice that when you have, a, say if you have a bad thought, you might feel bad. Very simple. If you think crappy thoughts, you will have an experience with crappy thoughts. Crappy thoughts will now be in your experience, and that's different than if you have good thoughts. See how that works? Now, if you have good thoughts, you will have an experience and now that experience will also include good thoughts. If you do it, do it with me, do it with me. If you are a liar, if you lie, now your experience will be one of lying. And there are consequences to lying. If you have good thoughts, your experience will have good thoughts, and there's also consequences to having good thoughts. There's something that happens when you have good thoughts. There's something that happens when you lie. There's something that happens when you have bad thoughts. There's something that happens when you have good feelings. There's something that happens when you keep your word. There's something that happens when you take responsibility for your emotions. There's something that happens when you are a victim and you are like, the world has made me this way. There's a, there's a consequence to all of that. Everything has consequences. And the consequences are unavoidable. This is what I'm, this is the, we're getting there. You cannot, you can't fuck with gravity. That's a consequence. Gravity itself, you see how that's at like, the world works a certain way. What way is that? I don't know. It just seems to work a certain way. If you lie, you're a liar. People won't trust you. If you break your word, you will be now, there's consequences. What are some of the consequences if you say you're going to be somewhere and then don't show up? Yeah, it's a little thing. Who cares? Who cares if you, you know, say you're going to be somewhere at noon, but then you don't show up till 12, 15? There's consequences. One. <clears throat> the person you're waiting on, now you've wasted a little bit of their life, which they'll never get back. They can't trust you as much. They go, oh, he's one of those people, or they're one of those people, she's one of those people, whatever. Uh, said they'll be there at 12. They're not there till 1230. I can't trust what they say anymore, a little bit. Hmm, it's a consequence. You'll be taken less seriously. What you say, what comes out of your mouth, will be taken less seriously, a little bit. It's a consequence. Yeah, but who cares? There you go, that's another consequence. You going, who cares? You having to go, who cares? Which is excusing yourself from the, the tardiness, you see. There's consequences. There's like an unfolding process. If you lie, there's consequences. If you, so you get it? You start to see? Now, if you pay attention to the consequences of things, all things, that have consequences, right? You can start to act in accordance with that. If you take, you know, for example, people who have more personal power in their life, they don't wander around being a victim. Why? There's not power in being a victim. There's the, the power in being a victim is being able to pretend like everything is not there. It's like, it's not me. I'm helpless. I'm a victim. 
You see, that's victim, you know, being a victim, its power lies in being the victim. It doesn't lie in getting stuff done or doing things outside of yourself or, you know, being able to rise above circumstances. Being a victim does not allow for that. But people who do stuff in life, they're not victims. Why? Because it's not powerful in that way, in the way they want to be powerful. And they understand that. They, they don't go down dark roads. Could they go down dark roads? Yeah, sure, but there's consequences to going down dark roads. Like if you started thinking about death and destruction and hurting people and hatred, imagine if you thought that all day, like as a practice. I'm not saying do that. You'll have a real shitty experience. You'll turn into a hate-filled, angry person, depressed, uncomfortable, probably in a lot of emotional pain. Why? Because there's consequences. There's consequences if you... If you pretend being spiritual, there's consequences for pretending things. That, I, as far as I can tell, you can't get around those. Like it's it's a it's like a done deal. If you're a pretender, you're a pretender. You're not a real solid, powerful human being. You're full of pretense. Now, maybe some people they can get a lot stuff a lot of stuff done by lying. I've seen that, getting others to believe in things. I've seen that, but that's a different kind of. You get what I'm saying? It's like a different kind of power. It's the power of manipulating people and to get them to do what you want based on a lie or whatever. See, it's different, and there's consequences to that. It's all these consequences. You get it. So then the, the simple insight here for this video is for you to take a look at the consequences of what you're up to in both body, what you put out in the world, and in your own mind. There's consequences. And then, if you start to notice, the, as if the workings, you can perhaps pick and choose how you want to be. How do you want to show up in the world? And then there are some ways of showing up in the world that are powerful, free, more happy, connected with other people, enlivened vitality. These are, these are ways that you can be. And you can start to, to align with the stuff that allows that to show up as a consequence of what you're doing, you see? That's a different life than one of blame and victimhood and reality just does it to me and I hate those people and it's their fault. You see how that's like a different, mm, different direction. Now you can choose. You can start to choose. See? And it's like a little, a little switch. I calling it a little switch. Maybe it's a big switch for some people. <clears throat> I don't know. It doesn't matter. All that matters in this case is that you get it. What I'm trying to get you to get that there's consequences. And if you start taking ownership for your consequences and the stuff that arises based on what you do and think and feel and all this stuff, if you build something for, you know, again, it's, it's just more and more. If you build something and put it out in the world, and you put it out in a certain way, there's consequences to that. It will have an effect. If you build it a different way, I don't know, you like you, somebody builds the David statue. It's like, whoa, there's, enough, there's, some, there's consequences. And it's just that's how it goes. See, so then you can start to, Take care with what you create and what you do, and it will change your life. You can then change your life. What I mean by your life is your experience. You know? <laughs> this thing you live in will show up differently or depending on what you want. Okay? So that's just a little something. I wanted you to pay attention to that. Take a look. See what you can discover. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Okay? Small one. Take care. Much love. Excuse me. I'm Brendan Lee with thebrendanlee.com in support of Consciousness and Skill Worldwide, which was founded by Peter Ralston. Take care. Till next time. Bye. Go get those consequences. If you want to get a little serious, check the links in the description. I've got free course, paid course, other things. Come join me. Join us. Oh, there's so many people to join. <laughs> and uh, we get some work done. Okay. Take care. Much love. Till next time. Ciao.